Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today I want to show you uh, an energy problem that exists in homes that have uh, concrete porches with basements under them. Here we have a home that has a uh, actually a, a pretty large uh, uh, porch in front and there's uh, some flagstone on the uh, porch uh, and underneath here it's just a concrete slab and there's rooms underneath here that are very cold because there's no insulation whatsoever. Let's take a look. This homeowner has a bit of a photography studio in this finished basement, but there's three rooms underneath this porch that uh, uh, are underneath that cold concrete slab. There's a, kind of a wine cellar here, and we have about uh, 55 degrees in this room underneath this cold uh, porch. And the, as you can see, the uh, ceiling is corrugated metal and then they poured the concrete slab for the porch on top of that and then the flagstone is on top of that and there's absolutely no insulation whatsoever. Now here's another room that contains the well, well uh, tanks for the water supply. We got big water treatment tanks in here and a water softener and uh, here again we have these bare walls and you can even see that there's some condensation and that's unusual this time of year but it just tells you that bottom of that slab for the porch is so cold that the humidity from the warmer air inside is condensing on the bottom of the roof deck. Now the homeowner tells us that in the summertime this is really bad. You have uh, humidity and condensation all over the tanks. We have these drip pans here and they fill up with water. You have humidity all over the well tanks and the pipes and so forth and all over the bottom of this uh, porch ceiling. You can see the beam there is uh, rusted from years of that. Now the homeowner did a little experiment and uh, tried to insulate the uh, ceiling himself uh, but that didn't work out too well as you can see. And um, there's also um, a bit of leakage here from the uh, perimeter and the homeowner had this uh, dimpled drainage matting installed on the wall and rolled up to the ceiling. So we're going to incorporate that and make sure the water runs down behind this drainage matting to a drainage system that's in the floor. For this application we're using closed cell spray foam and we're going to spray the bottom of the roof deck and the walls in this one room and you know this is a messy job when we're doing it there's fumes that have to be vented out of the house and the homeowner has to leave the house for the day boy it's well worth it because it's expanding spray foam it fills all the nooks and crannies and it has a great r value per inch it's seamless there's no joints or gaps for any uh, heat to move through and you've got a great result in the end so the work is all done and now let's compare the temperature of the ceiling from the rooms that we completed the uh, foam in to this room that is the electrical room that is not done at this time. It's uh, 44 degrees as you can see, the bottom of the ceiling. And if we take a look in, at the ceiling temperature in this room, which has the same flagstone porch over it, we have 65 degrees, an amazing difference. And that is gonna make a big difference in the amount of heat that flows out of this house because heat moves from more to less. And now we have that uh, seamless uh, thermal boundary in the form of closed cell spray foam between the interior heat and the outside cold. If you have this problem in your home or any problem that causes your home to be drafty, uncomfortable, cold floors, rooms too hot in the summer, rooms too cold in the winter, call Dr. Energy Saver. This is exactly what we focus on every single day and we are really good at it. And the best part about it is that these repairs pay for themselves. Call Dr. Energy Saver today.